Hi, in the previous tutorial, we've learned some of the basic tools, comb filters, all-pass diffusers, serial and parallel containers. Then we made some basic reverb using many parallel comb filters, followed by a few diffusers. One of the essential problems of this reverb was the constant echo density and high CPU usage. So how can we make that better? We're going to introduce the so-called nested modules. The first one is comb nested. You can just write CN and it'll sound exactly the same as C. What makes it interesting is that you can also insert modules into the nested comb's feedback path. So let's see what happens if you insert an all-pass diffuser into it. Type. The comb filter is creating constantly spread echoes and the diffuser is multiplying them. Energy of every echo in the feedback path is broken into many shorter echoes by the diffuser. So initially, there is just one echo, but the diffuser makes it say 10 echoes, then 100, then 1000 and so on. The echo density is exponentially rising, like in a real room. Now is the time to check the analysis tool, which can help you tremendously when designing your algorithms. Please note that it displays the analysis of the entire output of the reverb, not just the single late reflection generator. Good to know if you're building a complex reverb using multiple LRs and ERs. The graph on top shows the impulse response, just like with convolution. If there would be a modulation, it doesn't perfectly represent what you hear, but it does the trick for what we need. The bottom graph displays the sonogram of the impulse response and the white line shows the echo density. So let's first try a regular comb filter, C. Notice the equally spaced echoes in the impulse response. The spectrum also shows distinct resonances. Finally, the echo density stays the same and is very low. Not good. Let's try the following algorithm. The resonances in the spectrum are much less noticeable, but the impulse response still looks way too repetitive and the echo density is constant. Now, let's try the nested comb with a diffuser. The echo density quickly rises, which is obvious from both the echo density graph and the impulse response, but the resonances are back. So let's try the same trick several parallel nested comb filters with diffusers. The resonances are negligible, at least from the graphs, and the echo density is quickly rising. In fact, it doesn't sound bad at all. Time to introduce the load comparison button in the analysis window. Here you can load the impulse response, and I'm going to load one from an actual hall. Now we can compare what we create to the real world space. And it's not exactly the same thing, is it? The echo density and the decay of our reverb is behaving rather weird, and there's no dampening in the spectrum. Don't worry, we'll get there, but you can already see how helpful the analysis feature can be. Now, I'm going to do something you should not do, just so you can hear what happens when something goes wrong. But first, I'll enable the safety limiter on the right and lower the output volume in my DAW. And now's the time to put a comb filter into the comb filter. And there you go. An infinite feedback. Welcome to the world of reverb design, where this is pretty common. Why did that happen? Because a comb filter increases energy. If you send an impulse into it, it'll create millions of reflections from it. They may be decaying, but at the end, we've just broken down one of the fundamental laws of physics and created energy from nothing. With just a plain comb filter, it's fine. Changes volume, but that's all. But put it into a feedback loop and all hell will rise. 
There's a solution to that though, X-comb or X. It's a special version of a comb filter which compensates for the energy gain by keeping the overall level lower. Other than that, it sounds exactly like the regular comb filter. So let's try this. And we're fine. It doesn't sound very interesting though, partly because it's way too quiet. We have a nested comb. How about a nested all pass? Sure, just type AN. Again, AN sounds exactly the same as A. You can make things considerably more interesting by writing. And let's get crazier. How about more levels of nesting? An all pass inside, an all pass inside, an all pass. How about making it less resonating by using multiples of them in parallel? Not bad, huh? There's a catch though. It doesn't follow the reverb length anymore. That's because all passes are good at diffusion and don't resonate so much, but don't follow the reverb length. Combs are the exact opposite. They nicely follow the reverb length but resonate. Perhaps this algorithm would work. Not bad, still longer than expected though. An ideal solution? We'll get to that, but not in this tutorial yet. Thanks for watching.